actually already step in. And we don't have our receiver, so they won't be able to hear you too good. But anyway, we, oh my God, yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful day too. Gorgeous. Okay, and we're in Kentucky. Yep. Okay. This is a 10 by 34. This is Edmondson. She's watching this. And you can see how it's all framed, ready to go. We just went over all the wire and the plumbing and everything. And also, I want you guys to remember that up here in Kentucky that we've employed a supervisor full-time that lives in this community to oversee and help with any questions they've got in any of their builds. Mm -hmm. The facility, what I like about the Amish here, what we've turned, we've been we've been in a meeting with them this morning for about three, four hours. Yeah. All right, going over everything. <clears throat> Every build. The details and yeah. details of what we're doing in our, our scheduling. Here's the inventory, some of this stuff here. We've got a container being moved up here next week, and they're going to put a lot of their little uh, stuff, inventory, in mm -hmm. a container so they can empty out their barn. Yeah. Try to get maybe another house in here that they could build, too. This is a big one. It's 10 by 34. Went over the blueprints, the plans, and then also, of course, like I said, we have a, a supervisor that lives here that goes over the last, uh, we got three, four builders here, mm -hmm. and we're about to take on four more, that, but they're going to be in training for about six weeks, I would say, yeah. before they can take on. So in about six weeks, we're looking at having eight homes built here at one time. Wow. And we're hoping to progressively to get more and more here. As you guys know, uh, their lifestyle and is so conducive to what we do. Uh, you know, they, they, they want to work at home because they got such large families and they have farms to take care of. And if they have to leave, they have to hire transportation. Yeah. So being able to be at home and work at home is really helping them out. And we want to uh, help them build and understand because we're both working together. They're helping us and we're helping them. Right. So we've been having a really good relationship and we want to make sure that it's going beautiful. So I come up here, and David up here. We have a truck coming up here probably once, twice a week mm -hmm. to make sure everything's done. We've got an inventory team back home that's even getting more and more detailed, honing in on what is being shipped, where is it being done, the vendors included on it, the checklist of making sure all the everything is here to make sure efficiency on these builds are fast and accurate. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So as you can see. This is a custom build, and you could imagine some details that we went over this morning that had to be done. Right. And you can see that if we had a model home that they built several times over and over and over. They're going to have it down. It's going to be so much more quick. Yes. It's going to be quicker and more efficient and less questions and less that I have to be here. Anybody else, they don't even have to talk to anybody. No. A trader comes in, the materials are here, they build it, and it's done because they've already built it 20 times. Mm -hmm. And with about eight or nine different models, they learn to build each model yes. and it's rolling. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're excited about, but it's going to take some time. So we called and I think most of what we didn't have, a, I don't think we called all the customers, but them doing our framing homes, our stick built, we call them stick built or wood frame yeah. homes, mm -hmm. are all going to be built here. There's 35 of them. We're looking at having them all built. We're hoping within five months. Yep. So that'll all be out of here and they're going to build them here. And then back home, we're doing our ESP panel homes and there's mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know how many there, but we'll get them. Several of them. So we're mm -hmm. going to do them back home. So we're working a team effort to get all them done. Anyway, I just want to bring this video today and show you guys the progress up here. This is just one facility. There's mm -hmm. four of them up here. This this uh, this gentleman, I, sometimes I say his name. I don't know how much more they want us to say, but built this beautiful barn. Yes. It was just built for tiny homes. It was. That's all. And so they're invested in this, and I'm excited about them. One thing I like about it is uh, we get along. David's real, um, he, he's very um, work oriented. He wants to do, he's got a, a passion for it, got a drive for it and yeah. stuff. So wants to learn, willing to give and mm -hmm. us too. He's, he's real good. He is. He's yeah. serious about it. He's very serious his, about it. His money and his materials yeah. and what we're doing and he's on it and he, learning and mm -hmm. um, it's just refreshing to have guys like that yeah. that in, that are excited about what we do and they do and it's a team effort you know so yeah anyway anyway so we've invited to a dinner <laughs> they're gonna stay they're gonna have a big hole down here they wanted us to come over and <laughs> kind of hang out with a bunch of them but uh yeah i think we got to get back to tennessee it took us it takes us four hours to get here so it's four hours back yeah yeah and i, I don't think the party's till tonight <laughs> so. oh, yeah, right. What are we going to do? Yeah. So, all right, but thank you. I just wanted to encourage our customers that are of, of the homes being built. Yeah. 
also future customers that we're doing mm -hmm. and how much time, energy, and effort that we're putting together to make our homes built better and more efficient and yeah. more timely. And, just, and this is to you know? show you too, you know, we'll go to the other locations There's a, where those houses go. We'll uh, try and start filming from there and get you pictures. But just know, just because it's off property does not mean it's not being built properly. Yeah. They've been trained, everybody yeah. that's off property, Zach, Joshua, um, Eric, yeah. uh, the yeah, Amish. Off, off property back home. Yep. Mm -hmm. What I like about this, probably the structure of how we got this better mm -hmm. than, than anything, is that we have a live-in supervisor that lives here in mm -hmm. this community overseeing just four jobs. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, and it's only one being built right here, right now. He's so here to the assist them. can be right here. Yes. And I think it just... I like the whole environment. I'll yeah. Okay. All right. See you guys. All right.